Good morning everybody and welcome to the channel. I am at Alabama Hills near Lone Pine, California. Just coming out to what's called Movie Road. Up there above me you can see Mount Whitney Crest. Uh, it's that highest one right in the center there. That one on the left right there is called Lone Pine Peak. And that's often confused for Mount Whitney because it's a little bit closer. So it looks bigger, but actually Whitney Crest is the one you can always identify it because it has the slightly larger pinnacle and then it has the two smaller ones, which are Wheeler and Keeler needles. So keep that in mind as you're looking over there. I want to tell a little story about Alabama Hills. It's been a popular place to camp. What happened with the advent of the internet is more and more people learned about it. It was kind of a quieter place before, and then it just got overrun with campers. It got really messy. People were not very clean or conscientious. They left human waste and garbage all over the place. And you would see people camping just everywhere back in the day, especially during the season, in the spring and fall, because it gets kind of hot here. It got completely out of hand. So this is BLM land, and the BLM came in, and they basically shut down most of the camping. And there were probably 200 plus sites, and now there are are actually only 23 dedicated sites and if you look at the camping map you'll see green sites and those you can kind of get in with most vehicles anything with half decent clearance like a Subaru and then they have ones that are uh, orange and those are designated for four-wheel drive vehicles so those are a little bit more difficult to get to there's a lot of people that are really upset because if you come here during any kind of peak season it's virtually impossible to find a campsite so that's upsetting but on the bright side it's a lot quieter so if you camp elsewhere some places like Tuttle Creek you can just camp there and then come here and use this as more of a day use area and I think that's the master plan is to make this a day use area there's a mixed crowd of people some are really upset about it some are happy about it we're going along movie road here getting into the main part of Alabama Hills this entire west side here to my left toward the crest as I'm heading north is day use only so camping is forbidden and then on this side is where they've located the modest numbers of sites for me it's it's actually better even though it's harder to find a camp it's december right now and i was easily able to find a camp i'm going to head over this way and you can see this sign it says day use only so that's on the entire west side no camping over there but if you go over there and explore there's nobody camping so you can check out all the little sites and places that's pretty cool and then on this side there is some camping uh, there's one that says designated camping, a sign. One of the areas that's a must visit is this uh, hiking area that's coming up. You can see the cars parked over there. And straight ahead, there are single track hiking trails. I think you can mountain bike on them, but you can't bring any motorized vehicle on them. And there's a arch back there that's really cool. It's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of a must visit. Okay, you go down through a dip here, then you climb back up, and then we're, I don't know, maybe getting past the main part of the park. It's pretty short. It's a couple miles long where you get all these crazy rock formations. Another day use only sign. You're gonna see a lot of those. So there's the first dip and then we have actually, I think this is another little dip. Climb out of here. There's a nice formation dead ahead. If you look over here, this was probably one of the most popular campsites right there. You know, it's on a, it's on a ledge and you have this incredible view of the Whitney Crest over there. Absolutely stunning. Here's another one. If you look at this one, this is another, it was another very popular spot. You camp up here and you just have, from your trailer or whatever, you just have this just incredible view of the crest. Lone Pine Peak, then Whitney Crest. Just absolutely gorgeous. Another formation over to the right there. Crow or whatever flying. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's see what this sign says. Day use only. One thing for sure, if you come to Alabama Hills, you're gonna see a lot of day use only signage. This is a great example of how you see the Alabama Hill kind of reddish formations in the foreground with the crest in the back. It's December right now, it hasn't snowed a whole lot. I think it's more spectacular after the snow or in the, you know, in the winter or early spring or even mid spring, the snow stays up there for a long time. All right, next we got this kind of kicker, sort of a steep hill. And then it kind of opens up. And I should point out that if you stay on this road, movie road, you will actually come back out on Highway 395 north of Lone Pine. So if you're coming from the north and you're heading south and you want to drive in on uh, movie road, you can do that. It's a long dirt road, but it's pretty spectacular to drive on. And I, I've done it. It's pretty fun. There's a couple of sites out here, a couple of campsites, and I don't know where they are. I think that's a road that goes up there and there might be one up there. Or maybe it's this lower road here, right here. 
No, that's just a little turnout. That doesn't, no, that does go through. Actually, you can see somebody camping way out there if you look out that way. So that's one of the designated campsites. All right, and then as you head north, you see what happens here. We, there's still some kind of funky rock formations, but it, it kind of opens up a little bit versus the main part. Lovely place to camp. If you can't camp here, just camp nearby at Tuttle Creek. There is some dispersed camping that's not in Alabama Hills. But there's only a few sites. I've done that before. Surprisingly, Tuttle Creek is actually a pretty good place to camp. And just for yucks and giggles, I think I'm going to camp there tonight and then see what it's like. One thing I should mention is cell phone coverage in Alabama Hills is absolutely horrible. I have a booster and I can barely get a little reception, maybe send a text. Sometimes, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. And I believe that the internet at Tuttle Creek, I'll check it out, but I believe it's better. If you like to have internet when you camp, it's probably not a bad idea to just do as I suggested before. Camp at Tuttle Creek and then use Alabama Hills as a day use area. So I'm not going to go too far. I just wanted to show you this northern part and see how it changes as you head north. So I'm just going to turn around, head back now and do some more exploration. All right, this is going to be my northernmost point here. I'm going to turn around, but you can see we still have a great view of the crest. That guy there is, I don't know, he's not camping. I think he's just hiking, but it looks like a nice view right there. All right, everybody. So now we're heading back northbound. We turned around. We didn't go all the way to 395. It's quite a long ways. We don't need to do that. It's sort of heading me into the sun, so the lighting's a little bit different, maybe not as good. So now we're coming back through the dip that I mentioned before, and then up on the right, we're going to see the hiking area that I mentioned. Then following that, we're going to cross over to the west side. It used to be choked with dozens of campers, and now it's just really quiet, so it's a really nice place to check out. So we'll do that after we get past the hiking area, which is coming up, I think, maybe up to where that truck is. See the Whitney Crest right at about 1230. We're straight ahead on the camera right now. So here's the hiking area. There's the dude. Shoot him a wave. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there you can see it's uh, day use only. It's pretty sandy. Last year when I was here, I camped off site and then, uh, whoa, this is like really crazy. Um, I came in here and parked there for right up there uh, in the day, day use area, and that was pretty cool, and then I just walked around. There's some single track trails that you can hike back, and this is the area where they shot a lot of movies back in the day. How the West was won, mainly How the West was won, that's way back there, I think, and then and there's another one up here, I'm trying to remember which, it, maybe I can write it down when I post this. Whitney Crest there, pretty cool. So this is kind of a loop. It just kind of loops around and then there's another spur that goes up to another movie site. I think it's How the West Was One was the one that was filmed back in this one area, which we'll check out in a minute. And some of these rocks here, up here, are, uh, there's some pretty good climbing on these. Another just day use. There's a trail, I think it's right there, that you can go in, or somewhere around here. I did it last time. And then the road continues around this way. And again, keep in mind, in the old days, you know, you would go through here and there would be literally hundreds of people camping there, not hundreds, but dozens of people camping in this one area. And uh, that's all cleared out now, so it's, uh, it's much better for hiking. So again, there's a lot of debate on the changes, but it's cleaner, it's uh, easier to hike around, but it's just much harder to camp. The people who really like to camp here are kind of bummed out. But the people who like to uh, explore around, look at other places, are, I think they're pretty happy about it. So let's go up here and see what this one's like. I'm not sure if I've been back on this one. I think this is probably just another dead-end day-use area. I mean, this would be such a great place to camp, and you can see why people are a little perturbed about it. But, you know, if somebody's camping there, you can't go and check it out really because it's their campsite. I think the folks who like to just come and set up a camp and just hang around, they're the ones that are bummed because they don't explore that much. They just hang around their campground, which is fine, but whatever, you know. Oh, look at the hole in this rock. And this would be another campsite right here, of course. Oh man, it is so sandy. I want to stay out of that center area. All right, after checking out that area, we are back on movie road toward the south end of the area. 
and we're kind of back to where we started so that's just a little quick tour of some of the alabama hills on the main road and a couple of the short spurs off road so i hope you enjoyed the video on alabama hills and the sightseeing around a little bit on the bike and if you did give me the old thumbs up and until next time thanks for watching